example two, we're told that segment EC, this segment here, bisects angle ABD, ABD, find the value of X. Write a two column proof. So we're working with a two column proof again. So we're going to have our statements. and our reasons. So since segment EC bisects angle B or ABD, we know that angle ABC and angle CBA are going to be equal, and we are given an expression that those two angles are equal to. So in our given, we are told that segment EC bisects angle ABD. Next we can establish that angle ABC is equal to angle CBD. And that's the definition of bisector, more specifically angle bisector. From there, we'll substitute in 3x plus 1 and 5x plus 21 because those are the values we're given or the expressions we're given for those two angles. Again, that's from the substitution property. Now, step four is going to be justified by the subtraction property. Now, some of you might be thinking, what the heck is going on? So let me show you what the heck is going on. In your algebra class, you might have been shown something like this as your work. Subtract 3x from both sides. The 3x's go away. 5x take away 3x. That gives you 2x. Bring down to plus 21. Bring down your equal sign. Bring down your 1. Now, the reason you did that was because of the subtraction property of equality. Let me squeeze that equal sign in there. Well, let me not. Step five. Now, you could apply the subtraction property twice here, or you could just do it one time. I'm going to do it twice. Next, you would subtract 21 from both sides, which gives negative 20 is equal to 2x. And that's because of the division property. Things you used to just do in algebra, in geometry you have to prove. And finally, you end up with negative 10 is equal to x. And if you're not, well, actually this wasn't the division property, it was the subtraction property. Here comes a division property.
But anyway, there's a proof of solving for x. The geometry comes in at the beginning of the proof. The rest of it's just solving in an algebra equation. 